Today's video is brought to you by AnyTrans for Cloud. Are you tired of managing multiple cloud drives and multiple cloud files through multiple platforms? Well, AnyTrans Cloud will allow you to manage on one single platform, easy, safe, and secure. Now, you can sign up today with the links in the video description down below for 10 days of the free Premiere plan, and you can also gain additional days by simply verifying your emails and sharing the platform. I'll leave a link down below. Make sure you check it out, AnyTrans for Cloud. Hey guys, in this video, we're talking about iOS 11.4.1 versus iOS 12. Now, Apple has released iOS 11.4.1 a few weeks back, and there's been many complaints over on Reddit over battery decrease in performance versus, say, iOS 11.3.1 or iOS 12. So in this video, I wanted to go ahead and do multiple tests on multiple devices to see if I can find any reason why the battery would decrease in performance. So let's begin. Now, the first thing I did was run a few battery tests on multiple devices, the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, 7, 7 Plus, and iPhone 10 as well. So I restored to 11.4.1, did a 24-hour cycle battery test on multiple devices, and then did the same thing on all devices running iOS 12 as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at a time lapse that I recorded, which basically pretty much sums up the results because the results were consistent with all devices. Keep in mind, this time lapse that you're gonna take a look at, Bluetooth Wi-Fi was enabled, brightness was the same at 100% on both devices, same tasks were performed, browsing the web, downloading apps, and listening to music and things like that. So the exact same tests were performed on both devices and all the settings were identical. So let's take a look at the time lapse. Well, first, let's take a look at iOS 11.4.1. Now you're only looking at one device, the iPhone 8, but again, results were consistent on all devices running iOS 11.4.1 and iOS 12 as well so five hours and 25 minutes of on-screen time and iOS 11.4.1 and I did run those tests the same exact test with same settings in iOS 12 and I got the same thing five hours and 25 minutes and as I mentioned results were consistent and pretty much identical with all devices so I can't say that I find any difference in terms of battery performance so if your device is not giving you the same amount of battery that you had before then I recommend updating to iOS 12 to be honest it is a really solid beta release if you haven't tested public beta test program yet i'll have links in the description then ios 12 may be a good option for you now, i also want to talk about geekbench performance test in this case i did see something a little different here single core score for ios 11.4.1 is going to be 4124 if we go over to ios 12 we see that it's 4265 so a slight increase in performance there in ios 12 that's going to be and then we have the multi-core score 9173 ios 11.4.1 going to ios 12 10,211. So in terms of performance, it looks like iOS 12 is doing slightly better. And again, this results translate to all devices as well. So if you're running 11.4.1, it looks like you might have a better chance of getting better battery performance out of your device, as well as better performance itself with the CPU and everything in between. So if you haven't considered iOS 12 yet, I know it is a beta software. A lot of people don't like to run beta software, but it looks to be proving to be better than an official release 11.4.1. I just wanted to share this information with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found the information helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.